Now you take very nice pictures. You, maybe you are a photographer or you're just taking pictures for fun. Sometimes you want your pictures to look good or maybe you want to use them in social media. But you're wondering which application or which software can I use for them to look better? Maybe if you go online, you look at softwares like Photoshop or maybe things like Lightroom. They are very expensive. You have to pay them every month. Or if I tell you there's a free software that almost does the same things that all other professional softwares does. I'm going to show you how to use Photoscap X to make your pictures look awesome and also to make your picture look presentable. Now let's just, let's just jump in. I want to show you how to use this software from the start. I'll, I'll just take you an overview. Now, for you to access Photoscap Pro, if especially if you're using um, a Windows, all you just need to do is just type here, uh, Microsoft. Then it will take you to, it will, it will take you, you'll go to Microsoft Store. Then you'll just come here and maybe copy this one here. I, I already wrote it there in my notepad so that I can easily access it. Now, the moment you go there, just come here and paste here. Just paste here Photoscap, Photoscap X. Then it will bring you to this platform here. Now, the first thing you're supposed to do is either to download it. You see, it's telling me here open because already I downloaded the app and the application is in, is in my PC. So that's why I can easily access it. So uh, as you can see here, uh, the rating has, are, are good. 4.5 uh, is a good rating there. Now, if I want to open, I'll just come here, open. Then it will take me to the application itself. There is the application itself. So I can easily, access, that's how to access it. Uh, in your PC or in your uh, computer. Now, if you look at my screen here, you see all the things that uh, Photoscap Pro is able to do. For example, it can do spot healing, remove blemish, liquefy, clone stamp, all those things that you might need. Maybe you have some spots or pimples you don't want to see in your face. You can use this, you can easily use all this. As you can see, you can also do the basics of photo editing, it's like cropping, you can also do Things like paintbrush, lens flare, replace color, you can do white balance, motion blur, all these things you can do with Photoscap Pro. But today I'm just going to show you a brief overview of how to use Photoscap Pro. In the, my subsequent videos, I'll show you more of how to use it. Now, what do you do? It's very simple. How do I access your how do you access your photos? How do you access your resources? Now you just you see here that these tabs here that you can use this viewer, editor, cutout, batch college combine, uh, create GIF, print and tools. Now, if I just come to viewer here, that's how I can view all my pictures. For example, it will take me where my last uh, access was there. If I go to downloads here, it will take me to all the pictures in my download. Now, it will give me, if you look at on my right hand side here, how do I want to view the pictures? If I want to view them like in a list form, it will bring me like that. If I want to view them, uh, individually, it will just uh, take me there. Then I can use this arrows here to go from picture to picture. If I want to do, if I if I want to uh, view full screen, it will just uh, take me like that. I'll just cancel that. I'll close it. I just go to the normal uh, view, which is the grid uh, there. That's how to view pictures in your computer. You can use it to view pictures in your. That's one of the things it can do. Now I'll go to the editor here. If you go to, if I go to the editor here. And then I just click the downloads here. How do I insert the picture in this uh, program or this application? It's very simple. For example, I have this picture here. I'll just drag it here, but then it will just go inside in this platform here. Now you realize we're in the editor tab and realize the moment we inserted the picture, it is giving me a very many options for me to manipulate the picture. For example, if I want to, if I click this color here, Maybe you want to play around the color. Maybe you want to increase the saturation. As you can see there, you can easily uh, do that. Maybe you want to reduce the temperature or increase the temperature. You can easily do that with Photoscap Pro. It is that easy. After you have done maybe some changes, for example, if I increase the saturation there, then I can easily compare before and after, before I make, before I decide this is what I want. Then if I just, then if I just uh, do that, I'll just apply and there we have it have your changes. You can do a lot with this. Uh, for example, you can also come to films here. Maybe remember long time ago used to have those old cameras. There are ways they used to take pictures. For example, if I come here and uh, 
click the cinema this is how it will look if i come here and choose this one this is how it will look uh, if i come here this is how it will look uh, you can easily it's just like those things in the, uh, in instagram uh, filters and many other also it has many other options here maybe i want it black and white maybe our looks maybe i want it like that maybe you can use all this uh it's a, it's a matter of experimenting to see what really works with you but i don't want to do that i'll just cancel it then it will take me uh, back to where the picture is for example if i want to play with the lights maybe i want something like bouquet lights there you can easily do that you can easily uh do all uh this as you can see uh, there frame maybe you want a nice frame maybe there are many frames you can use there if i scroll here you can put a frame maybe just to look at vintage but you realize if i go down here there are these frames written pro now if you want to get this pro you have to pay some something a little bit for you to access the pro you can just buy it but i don't want to buy all these frames that you can use here as you can see here it can satisfy your needs now if i go to insert you can maybe if you want to insert something like an arrow you can easily uh, point here maybe you are explaining something or maybe you want to somebody to i mean somebody to see something in a picture you can use this you can even insert a line you can insert even a what a frame you can insert a, i mean you can even use it to blur you can even insert text maybe you, you can insert text then it will give you this option of editing text maybe can even write the name there and even change the color as you can see of the text there so you can insert text you can even magnify a certain place maybe here and there now i don't want i don't want to use all this i'll just uh, click there and then maybe i'll cancel again i don't want to save let me just pull uh, back the picture again uh, there so you can use all these tools also you can come to tools here to give you uh, more aspects that you can use i'll be talking about subsequently how you can use all this you can sharpen an image maybe there a certain section maybe there and here and there so it's a matter of experimenting uh you can it's a matter you can even rotate the picture maybe you want to rotate it like that i'll just cancel you can even crop i mean cropping is a very common aspect in photography and then you can just crop then it will just crop the picture like that you can even resize maybe you want to change the size maybe in, in terms of pixels centimeters uh, i like using pixels maybe you want to increase or reduce the size maybe if i reduce or increase let me apply it will become smaller so it's a matter of exploring uh, all this now favorites are what people use the most like straightening here uh, black and white uh, all these things you can use there i don't want to go too much details let me undo let me undo you can just use ctrl z to undo now i want us to go to the next tab which is cut out i'll just drag another picture maybe this time i'll drag uh, maybe this picture here i'll just drag it out you want to remove the background of a picture or you want to just remove the background you just want to remain with the viewer uh, background what do you do can just stress it out or, or you can just remove it just it'll give you if you see this aspect here just do that and it will remove the background then you can just apply then the background will just be removed just like that and now you can use it i mean you can combine many pictures for example if i come here again uh, maybe i want to remove the background you can see that sometimes uh it becomes difficult removing the background because uh with the nature of the picture like this one is very easy to remove the background like this one here maybe i just want to remove the background uh this part here you can easily remove you can rub you can easily rub you can even change the color how you want it to, to view when in the background is removed how do you want it to remove maybe white or uh just like that so you can do that the next one is the batch what is a batch maybe you want to do batch editing batch editing you want to edit many pictures at the same time for example i want to edit this picture i'll just drag it here i want to, all of them maybe to increase the color maybe i want to increase uh, the color so what do i do i'll come here or maybe i just want to uh maybe brighten maybe i want to brighten 
uh, most of them let's see how it will be or maybe i just want to choose film let's let's leave that one maybe i want all of them to be this nature then i'll just apply you see almost all of them have become like that then that's how batch you want to you have many pictures you want them to be the same then i go to college college i think you are aware maybe you want to combine many pictures at the same time for example i want this picture and uh, maybe this picture to be in the same frame so what do i do now there are, if you look on my on my right hand side there are many types of frame that you can use and also you can readjust inside maybe you want you can just come here and drag like this maybe you want it to position so you can use as many as there are many types here that you can use now if you look if you go down here there are these pro ones this pro ones i mean you have to subscribe or you have to pay some money for it for you to use them then i'll come to combine you want to combine many pictures you want to combine many pictures so i'll just do this i'll just drag them here like so like so you want maybe a very long long uh, picture like that uh you combine combine them like that huh. combine them like that you can decide to put the vertical horizontal like that maybe tie tile like that maybe let's just try it horizontal you can even edit the picture how they look how they are combined color I mean, all that it's a matter of experimenting and playing around with that now somebody will ask me how do i save my work just come here save us then it will take you to the location where you want to save the picture let me just save it as vertical vertical pick just uh, like that then i'll just save it will ask you the quality i always take the highest quality then i'll just save then i'll just go and try to look where the picture is as you can see here is here is a vertical uh, picture uh, here he is a vertical picture as you can see uh, there so that's how to save pictures uh, there then my favorite is this one you can create a gif i mean you can use uh, gif is a more of a picture that is in motion for example i have let me just go to downloads here i have for example i have these bugs here i'll put this bug here i'll put this other bug here also i'll put this bug here and also maybe this bug here maybe i'm a businessman and i'm going to advertise my bugs in instagram or twitter and i just want them to flip flip like that so you can easily put that one there then you can easily uh, do that you can even decide the transition effects maybe i want zoom i'll apply all then this is how it will come maybe i want uh, dissolve this is how dissolve will be if i play all this out the solve will be i can even change the duration maybe i want it to be faster i'll apply that as you can see there and then i'll just uh, you can easily save your gif you can just come here save gif then you, you can always put them it how do you want it to be to continuously do like that or just two times i'll just put forever then just save like that can just save it gif bug yeah then here it is font if you want to see the gif normal picture viewers don't see it i'll just come right click and open in a browser i'll just come here open with maybe i use internet explorer for me to open it now you can see here it is playing yes it's playing as you can see uh there so that's how to create a gif using uh this photoscope pro i can talk about a lot about this software but those are the some of the aspects you can use to, to uh, you can use the software to do now uh what you need to do just check my subsequent videos i'll be posting almost daily on how to use the softwares remember this channel is all about uh, using technology using your your laptop using your computer to make your work easier to make the work better. Continue learning. Have a nice day.